Hi, my name is Eric Odie. I am a children's author, a songwriter, a poet, an educator. I recently have had uh, people asking me to talk a little bit about uh, rhythm and rhyme in picture books and, uh, and how to uh, pull those elements out of books and to help make good use of those elements when you're sharing rhyming picture books. So I'm going to share with you real quickly from three of my own books. Uh, these are three books that are published by Kane Miller Books, and they're each illustrated by Kent Collada. And, and let's, uh, let's start with the book Busy Trucks on the Go. Now, one activity that I use a lot when I'm visiting schools is uh, sort of an, an end rhyme close. And that just means that I'm going to leave out the last word and uh, the, the rhyming word and encourage the kids to come up with that word themselves. So, for instance, if, if I were to read driver's honk to say hello, busy trucks are on the building bridges, fixing roads, lifting big and heavy town to town and here to there, busy trucks are... And I bet you had no trouble figuring out what those missing words were. And you'll also find that kids, they, they uh, require very little encouragement to jump right in and they're very good at, at listening for and finding those missing words. They become active listeners, active participants in the story. I'm going to share with you a little bit from a book called Dan the Taxi Man. Now, Dan the Taxi Man is similar to a lot of books in that it has a refrain or a part that repeats over and over again. In this case, the refrain, I don't know how well you can see this, but the refrain is, and here's Dan, beep, beep, the taxi man, going to the show and picking up the band. Climb inside while you still can with Dan, beep, beep, the taxi man. Now, that little refrain rolls around probably, oh, I'm guessing six times in the story. And by the time it's rolled around to about the third time, the kids are jumping right in. And again, they become active listeners. They become active participants. And, uh, and they become that much more connected to the story. Finally, I'm going to share with you a little bit uh, from the story Too Many Tomatoes. And, uh, and in this story, which is a garden story, and it also includes a farmer's market and includes a parade. Here's the farmer's market and, and a parade. One of the things that I would encourage you to do with a book like Too Many Tomatoes is to uh, make use of the, the rhythmic element of it and go ahead and have a big tomato parade. Uh, with your kids and uh, you know find rhythm instruments to shake and march and and sing and chant and whatever you want to do to help celebrate the musicality of and the rhythm of of that story well I hope that's helpful thank you for all of the good work you're doing with kids I sure appreciate it keep in touch I would love to hear from you and if you have any suggestions uh, things that you're doing with uh, rhyming books I'd love to hear about it take care